Hey guys, this is our new Bronco. And if you've been watching Tommy's series, who's behind the camera, you know we've been just wheeling the heck out of it. Isn't that right, Tommy? Yeah, that's right. But in this video, we're gonna talk about a problem we've been having with the new Bronco. Yeah, we seem to have a dwarf mining problem, Tommy. I think a bunch of little dwarfs have um, mistaken this gold-colored Bronco for actually having gold inside of it. What I'm really talking about is this annoying squeaking and creaking sound that's coming from the roof. So in this video, let's show them what that sound is uh, so you can hear it. It's super annoying. It's like little dwarfs mining above my head for gold. Uh, and then we'll take the two panels off the roof and see if that makes it go away. So uh, let's see if we can fix this problem or if it's a problem that came with the vehicle. All right, well, let's demonstrate the problem. Like I said, it sounds like little dwarves above my head making popcorn or mining for something. What kind of top is this, Tommy? Well, this is the MIC top that stands for Mold in Color, and it's the hard top that is optional on the Bronco. And that right there is the problem. Here, I'll shut up and you can hear the popping noise. We'll go uh, to the post office where uh, the road gets pretty rough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, like I say, little dwarves making popcorn above my head, uh, which gets really annoying after a while. But you know what? Since it's Sunday and we're at the post office and no one's here, why don't we take the top off and see if we can either make it go away or if this is an issue that is like baked into this uh, top. So when I said the road was rough, I didn't mean like off-road rough. It's just paved road with, you know, some cracks. Now, it's important to state here, Tommy, that we have never taken that top off. Uh, it's the way it came from the factory, so this is our first time actually removing it. And we did have that kind of popping sound the second we picked it up, but we wanted to get a lot of videos made, so we didn't do much with it. Now, uh, like, never taking this top off, so I'll see how this goes. Yeah, so this uh, is the hard top in question, and if you are familiar with the Ford Bronco, you might know that this has been, um, well, quite a debacle getting these out the door. and. To be honest, I'm really not impressed with the quality at all on this one because it's got this like felty material up here that just looks bad and it's coming up in places like you can see there, it's already peeling up around the edges and that's supposed to be for sound deadening. So there are these four like levers and there's that bit I yep. think that should do it. Let's see which one has to come out first. It's been a while since I was at the oh, Bronco oh, program. There's one over here too. Oh, there's one in the corner. Yeah, there's one in the corner, that guy. Okay, one. Nope, this one's got to come out first. Can you come do this one? I got to uh, yeah. film. The cool thing about this top versus the regular top, though, is the rear panel comes out too. So I got, maybe, maybe that's to keep it from squeaking. Is that some, like little yeah. spongy material? Yeah. Um, there you go. I'll, uh, I'll just pull it off. We'll put one in the trunk and then one in the uh, back seat so it doesn't wrap. I think that'll be a good plan. Well, we'll, we'll just put it off and put it back on, right? Maybe we can realign it? Well, it's not gonna, it's not gonna do any noise when we're driving. Let's see, let's try driving it with the top off. All right. So let's put the other one in the back seat. Now this top is manufactured by a company called Wabasto and uh, there's been many, many, many emails of Ford you know, blaming their part supplier Wabasto on top issues. And they say that has kept many Broncos from actually being produced at this point. You can see the felt on a Jeep, that, that's optional, but it's already coming up. Like oh yeah, said. look, it's falling off over here. Yeah. That's terrible for a $63,000 vehicle. I had to glue it back on. Yeah, that's the thing about this. I love, you know, the off-road capability and the styling, but the interior bits and pieces don't feel like a $63,000 car, which is how much we paid for it. I mean, you look at like a that's the Genesis GB80, right? And the interior in that is all bespoke almost, right? It's leather and wood and fine metal bits here, you know? I mean, show them this. You know, that, that is uh, not a $63,000 interior in my mind. Tommy. Well, it just fell through. The GB80 doesn't have two locking diffs though, so. That is true. 
let's see if we have solved the issue by taking uh, these two panels off and if our little dwarf infestation has left the building. I love this, by the way, Tommy. Yeah, it looks great. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Well, I think we may have fixed it, Dad. Even this little uh, quick jaunt around the parking lot seems to have solved the popping. Yeah, yeah, it definitely are, uh, is one of those two panels. Fortunately, I think it's the one that's right above the driver's ears. Well, let's put it back on and see if we fixed it. You think maybe like repositioning it may have gotten... Yeah, I think turning it on and off again has fixed it. Yeah. That's All what right. I'm hoping. All right, well, let's, let's put them back on and try the loop again. Seal them up there, Dad. All right. I'll close them up again. Uh, it's a pretty simple procedure, huh? Yeah, I think it works good. Maybe you can do that. Yep. One. Pushes up like that, and then we got another half turn there, and one more back here. And then I think we got them all, so let's uh, go for another little ride. Yeah, here, I'll take the camera, and uh, since you're in the driver's seat, you go for it and see if we've solved the issue. Yeah, that popping noise, even coming from a person who drives old British cars, would drive me up the wall, and you should hear what my old British car sounds like. Train whistles going off here. Yeah, that's not part of the uh, top. It's not part of the test, no. Dad? There's another set of squeakiness that's been There's replaced. another set at the back, yeah, but that's another story for another day. I'd say it's better. Yeah, but now the back panel's squeaking. Oh no, it's back. I just heard it. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's a little better. Yeah, but it's still there. So, uh... And now we got some weird-ass squeak coming from the back of the top. Yeah, I know. That wasn't there before. Uh, Heck. You know, I think this top for Ford has been probably the bane of their existence. You know what I mean? Oh, oh we're back to making popcorn. Yeah, I think it's back just as it was. You know, so I think uh, there's a simple solution to this, Tommy. Okay. I think we'll give our friends at Best Top a call because they make the soft top for this. Yep. And see if we can install a soft top. Yeah, it's worth a shot. I mean, I mean, it's kind of like taking a sledgehammer <laughs> approach to fixing the problem. All right. <laughs> can you listen again while I go over this bump? Yeah. Yeah, we'll give that a go. So let us know if you've had this experience with your new Bronco in the comment section below, and then we'll let you know what the final solution is to this. Uh, and by the way, uh, we do love this Bronco. I mean, you just you can't always, uh, you know, have a perfect vehicle when you get one of the first ones out of the gate, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's a first year thing, and it's you know, it's a known. The known, known problem, problem is the, the hard tops and Broncos. So uh, we'll be sure to update you. But as always, thank you for watching and check out TFL Car and TFL Truck.com for the latest and greatest in top fixes. Oh, and by the way, if you've been following Tommy's series on off road, uh, what did you do this Friday, Tommy? Yep, so we took a modified Defender on 35s and then um, a Bronco and a Wrangler off road up a really pretty cool trail. So that's coming up soon. I'm still in love with this Bronco. It's one of the best looking vehicles out there, Tommy. A gorgeous color uh but you know at tfo we like to show you the good with the bad as always this is roman saying thanks for watching and see you next time ciao